Hey, you guys. Okay, this is actually made the next day after what you are about to see. <laughs> Yesterday, I, um, I made a video showing my uh, Happy Mail that I got from Jen, my first pocket letter, and also a haul that I did. But then after I filmed that, Paula and I ran off to one of two local scrapbook stores that I have here and I don't really go to this one because oh for various reasons but also because they don't usually have a lot of stuff that I like like my style but it's so funny because now that I'm doing kind of something different from project life and layouts and all the kind of like trendy stuff their store appeals to me <laughs> and it's just it cracks me up that I'm buying things I would not even have looked twice at I don't know two months ago but anyways the thing that I liked about the store is they have a whole area of dollar stuff and this is how it also was at the well not this is what how it was but the store in Berkeley scrapbook territory also has an area where they sell used stamps and it's usually things that they probably stamps they used in classes so there's most of theirs are a dollar and they just come in these packs so I picked up this one, which I don't really care for, but this, it had a Dilusions. It just had the leaf one. I have the clear stamp leaf one, but this has never been used, doesn't look like. But this is a rubber stamp one, so for a dollar I got these two. I stamped this out, you know, and this is what gets colored, not this stuff. The flower, so I don't, it doesn't, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it was worth, a dollar was worth getting this bigger stamp. And then they have this other set. They just kind of throw weird random ones together, but I wanted it. I don't know why this is on it, but it's a butterfly, obviously. And then it came also with this huge flower, I guess I could use. This said, some of my friends are flakes. <laughs> and Paula thinks it might have went on a Christmas one, which I guess would be okay, be cute. And then this one said, I don't know, I like hanging with you or something. So like I said, it's really random things, but for a dollar, you know, and they're good rubber. <clears throat> but I really like this butterfly. And then the other one, um, she showed me, and I was kind of excited. If you guys, oh, sorry, I'm on this new setup, and it hurts my, um, I remember I got this at Joann's, and then she was like, oh, look, here's a smaller coffee cup, and it's the exact same one. Yeah, it's the exact same cup. So I don't know if this is a smaller version, but it's stained. But, you know, again, I don't really care. And it came with a donut. <laughs> this like feels like the rage is donuts right now. Is it just me? If I always see donuts everywhere. So this one, and then I'm assuming that this is like a little, you know, the smoke thing or whatever that is called the steam and then this came with it thinking of you during this difficult time so I'm not sure how that goes with it but this was a dollar too and then I'm all excited because I finally got one of the new distress these oops these are like sold out everywhere or you can't get like the ink pads or anything so we both I think were kind of excited that we were able to get one pen from his new colors and then I'm actually using this right now on a page but I found this one their prices are a little well this is five bucks this isn't that bad but they're Tim Holtz stamps for like 30 bucks they're a little overpriced for me but uh, I I just used this on one I tried using this this didn't work out too good but um, I like this from all these different little you know uh, designs that you get and then this really quick sorry this was a, I don't know why I just said sorry. It's gonna make for a long video. Some of you might know this. These are, I think, from a Kaiser Craft line, but they bought too many, I guess, and I saw the pack of die cuts from this line. And I was like, I'm not paying seven bucks for all of those. And then she was selling them off to the side and separately. So seriously, I would not even look at these fairies like a few months ago. It's just so funny how my mind is thinking differently now. So I picked these little puppies up and then this like random butterfly. Oh, because I don't have enough butterflies. So that's it. Just wanted to share. I like to show what's at local scrapbook stores. It's neat to see what, I don't know, what other stores carry. But okay, I uh, will let you guys watch the rest of the long video. Bye. Hey, you guys, it's Marissa. I have Paula here with me. Say hi, P. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hi. Um, we are having a mixed media. 
Media Monday, but Paula's mixed media ing, and I am going to show you Happy Mail. What am I on this? And um, a little haul. Okay, so I just had my challenge, and oh yeah, it's Jen here on YouTube. Um, won my challenge, and as a thank you, this was a huge surprise. She sent me some Happy Mail. Um, and inside was this pocket letter. I have not received any pocket letters. And like I was saying before, I'm a little afraid to be a part of it because knowing me, I'll go buy stuff. But are you going to do pocket letters, Paula? I want to. I know. Fun. I know. We should. We should. That way we'll use all of the paper pads we just bought. That's right. Okay, so I won't go into all the detail, but this is super cute. So here's some doilies, and I love, I don't know where you got these, Jen, but these are very cute. These are like little um, photographs. Sorry, that's a really ugly band-aid. I could have at least picked a band-aid closer to my skin color. Um, so here's some cork embellishments and some washi and some cute stickers and tags and these little enamel dots. I can hear my kids, so this is not a very good video, sorry. Okay, here it is. So thank you so much, Jen. So that was sweet of her. She sent me this and then she gave me these sticky notes. I don't have any of those. And these awesome, awesome flipping napkins. Oh my gosh, I have to even open this one up. This is perfect for mixed media, which I should be doing right now. Why are my tippy toes? Um, I think she said she got them at Ikea, but very cute. So thank you so much. Oh, look at there's critters. Aww. Cute, huh? Critters. And then here's this little guy. Didn't mean to throw that at you. And this one. And then what I was so excited about, and I even like texted Paula all excited and yelling in my text, I'm sure. Look at what she sent me. Very, very sweet. Finnabar. Finnabar. This is awesome. Awesome. Very sweet of you. So thank you so much, Jen. I might have to just try to make a pocket letter. And just to send one to you. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to have fun with that stuff. And, oops, Paul and I went shopping today because on our Mixed Media Mondays, we're supposed to be mixed media-ing and we don't get here till like 1 o'clock because we want to shop, which is fine because mm -hmm. that's what we do best. Yes, it is. Okay. It's our thing. It is our thing. Did you, did you like that? I have my yoga pants on. Mm -hmm. I'm dancing right now. Can you see me? <laughs> you can't. Okay. Um, what did I get? I got these. She got, oh, I won't show it because she's going to do a haul video. It's not good enough for my videos anymore. But anyways, I got these because, oh, I don't know. I just wanted to have some. So I used my 40% off on that. And, uh, what else did I get? Let's just do some random stuff. These are at Michael's. Um, I really got these because I forgot to show you. Aren't these letters cute? I should probably be showing you, but I was showing. Aren't those <laughs> cute? Are you? So these are the gold letters at Michael's. Oh, I know. Oh, we forgot to look for them today. Oh, no, Oops. Back. Yep. Oh, darn. darn so I got those, and I got this random butterfly because I, Paige, I thought it would be cute on a mixed media. And then I was super excited because I've been wanting to find these paper packs. And they have a whole bunch of them at my at my Michaels. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Oh well. So I just got the Serendipity, which you know I'm not a big purple fan, but I only wanted a few pieces of paper, and this is perfect because you only get 12. So they had actually they had Craft Market. They had a lot of good ones. You got some cute ones too. Again, you'll have to watch Paula's video to see it. But what I really went clear across town for was because I wanted another paper pad because I, I, I mean, the two that I have wasn't enough. Um, I wish. So September Skies, these are $5.99 right now at, oops, at Michael's. Um, so I got that just to play with. And if I do do the pocket letters, Paula was saying that, it would, weren't you yes. saying it would be yes. good to use these? Yes. Perfect. And then I got this puppy right here. I don't know why, but I did. I have the six by six that I rarely use, but anyway, so that is what I got. Let's keep going. What else should we do? What's next? What else? Oh, here we go. Do you know that, well, my Michaels is clearancing all of their Tim Holtz, so I don't know why I got this, but I did just to get it. It was only $4.99, and then Hobby Lobby, I got these rub-ons the other day. 
You get two sheets in here. This is so not my style. Can you? I can't believe I got these. This was my style like 10 years ago. But here I am, all up in Tim Holtz's business again. We've come full circle. I know. Um, oh, these aren't fun, but these were clearance for $1.49. And I use these as like a test kind of thing. I think, um, maybe it was Jared L. Or somebody told me to use little tags or something to um, test, to do like different techniques on. And then let me see what else. Oh, I did want to try, I picked up one of these on clearance, these, damn, sorry, these Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Big Brush, which stink. Um, but can anybody tell me what they use these for? Because I think I just got excited and bought it and I don't know what I'm doing with it because I don't know what you do with it. So you guys put it on your stamps. I'm not quite sure. And then these were on clearance at Michael's. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. These are modeling paste and they are thick as heck. I did a page, which I don't really like that much, so I'm not going to share it. But it took a lot of this to put, this is really thick. But I think they were, two, did I say they were two, $2.99 I think or $3.99? $2.99 clearance. Um, almost done. And then I bought a stamp from um, Sandra Oh Snap Gonzo. She was doing a D stash and I got this face here because I thought it would be fun, but this is a big face. <laughs> oh my goodness. And if I didn't know it was a face, I would have thought that somebody like bit her nose off. <laughs> Look at her nose, poor thing. And she had a goatee. Oh, ouch. That's why I'm not like a true artist because I feel a true artist would see that that's not a woman with no nose and a goatee. Like, <laughs> Sorry to anybody that has no nose and a goatee. Um, but yeah, so I got that from her. I'll play around with it. I thought again that I could have something coming out of her head. And last, almost last but not least, I want have been wanting to share this. It's probably old now, but Target has like a craft section now. I don't even think I showed you. These were the acrylic paints I got at Target. She's not even paying attention to me. Oh, did you see them at your I, Target? I did. Okay. I did. I, They're very cute. I think they're $1.99, yeah. but these are like, damn. Gorgeous colors. Yes, and they're like typical colors in the scrapbooking world right now for some reason. Everybody likes these. And, okay, one more thing. Paula was sweet enough to tag me in the Studio, right? Did you? I did. Okay, I Studio did. 29, which are the Take 10 kit people, right? Mm -hmm. um, I won a planner stamp, and I think it's, is this like a celebration one? It is. It's a party something. Okay. Party planning. They're something. really cute. I like the camera and the banner. I know. They're really cute. I can't believe we won. I know. I know. I know. We won. We got to play the lotto. Mm -hmm. Lottery. Not the lotto. Is the lotto? Lottery. Okay. That's it, my friends. So check out Paula's video soon because I'm going to make her do a haul. Um, I'm not going to make her, but she's going to do a haul. Yes. I am. Is there anything else? Don't you ever do that? You will start doing that. You will start looking around like, is there something I missed? Oh, I will. I will. What else did I get? <laughs> Let's start looking through the drawers. <laughs> oh, I did get another ink, a distress ink, but that was at Hobby Lobby. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that was not video swear. I know. Okay, that's it. I will um, talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.